America's Got Talent is in the semifinal round this week with 20 getting the chance to move on as per the judges. Howard Stern, Howie Mandel and Sharon Osbourne have had their hands full this season and Sharon announced this season will be her last. The NBC show had its wild card round last week and host Nick Cannon said there was too much talent to let someone slip away and not make it to the semifinals. We've had such phenomenal talent this season and even the way that a lot of the shows may have been stacked, sometimes it would be like some people that were, it, you only can pick four at a time and it would be like eight great acts. One of the front runners is the hip hop performing ensemble Academy of Villains who were grateful for the chance. The things that we do, like dance, is our passion and we want to pursue it to the best of our ability. So all our dream, I mean every single one of my dancers dreams to have our own show that we could perform every day for the audience, for the world to see, uh, just like Circus Soleil. I mean, these are things that we look forward to. And for America's Got Talent to even be on this show and hopefully making it to the finals, I mean, it, it could change our lives in so many ways because to have our own show in Vegas, it, it, it's, it's, it's a dream come true. And I, I honestly think that if we could ever get that opportunity, if we could even just hold that opportunity for just a little bit of time, I mean, we, you know, God willing, we, we would be so grateful. Howard Stern said that many of the artists that get to America's Got Talent are via YouTube, but views don't necessarily translate to success in the real world. Well, look, come on, YouTube is one thing. You know, even you talk to these people who have a million hits or whatever it is, it's one moment. You've, what, what America's Got Talent can do is turn you into a real performer. You're getting to go on a stage in front of a live audience. You're not doing something in your living room. It's a whole different thing. It separates the amateurs from the pros. And uh, those that rise to the occasion will do very well here, but some will flop. And we saw that with the YouTube, YouTube auditions. There are people who are hits on YouTube. They get tons of hits, but they're not good when they get on stage. The show might have felt they missed one as Philip Phillips was on the second season of the show and then went on to become the next American Idol champion this year in season 11. America's Got Talent airs Tuesday and Wednesday nights on NBC TV.